I've both been anticipating and dreading this next little mini project. This mini project that is not mini by any standard in my case. Basically, I need to reconnect the Android tablet, uh, Rover's brain, to the Arduino boards. Uh, as you saw in the previous uh, episodes, we've now got the Android Mega Master Arduino controlling and communicating back and forth with the Arduino Uno, the slave board. And the whole intention is that the Mega Master reports to and takes commands from the Android tablet, which is the kind of the master, 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 the master builder, if you like the Lego reference. Um, so I have very little experience with Android coding, C++, um, coding. So it's a little bit nerve wracking, uh, especially since it's been a couple of years since I tackled that in the first place. Uh, in one of the earlier episodes, you guys saw that um, I kind of demonstrated the app that I had uh, got underway way back when. Um, and I did manage to port it over to the new Android Studio application, which was in itself um, an ordeal uh, because there's no quick import tool if you had uh, built it in its legacy beta or I think it was called Eclipse applications. So anyway, we got that far. But now it's a matter of getting the application to communicate once again with the Arduinos. So that's kind of what I want to tackle. Um, like most things, I'll take it step by step. And uh, yeah, and we'll go from there. So I guess the, the first thing to do is to take a look at the, the code of the application. Um, this is the Android application. And the code of the Arduino boards uh, to make sure that they're capable of actually communicating with the the Android tablet. So maybe we'll start with the Arduinos because it's easier, <laughs> and uh, and go from there. So let's take a look. In my wisdom from two years ago, I uh, managed to save a lot of my work, most of my work, I think. And so rather than trying to reinvent the wheel. I cracked open the code, the Arduino code, for both the Mega and the Uno that actually communicated with the Android tablet, um, with the Android application. So I'm not going to start from scratch again, and I'm going to try to figure out what I did before and take it from there. Um, but I think just doing that is going to be a bit of a project. So what I've got open here are the master for the uh, ADK, uh, Mega ADK board and the uh, UNO board here. So what's important is you see that we've got these new include um, libraries here on the master and we don't have them on the UNO and that's because it's the master Mega ADK board that actually communicates with the Android tablet and the UNO is communicating with the master over here. So that relationship remains, the, the master-slave relationship that we went over in the earlier episode. So it's really the, the, the master um, script here that needs updating in regards to communicating with the Android application. Um, so you'll note as we go through here that I've got kind of other stuff going on, and it's really just a matter of me trying to figure out how the communication works and that sort of thing, and trying to, for example, plan ahead in regards to how I'm going to send and receive instructions from the Android tablet. That's what I've been able to decipher so far. Um, but basically, it starts by um, defining an Android accessory and basically uh, these are kind of defaults but they're also the same defaults that I've used in the Android tablet application uh, and basically they need to match um, otherwise they won't recognize one another so that's really all it is this is just uh, some 
uh, language from a Hello World Android app application um, that I came across and we'll take a look at how that works but it's basically going to allow us to verify that the Android tablet and the master um, Mega 80 k board are talking to one another so even though my full code won't quite work because it's not my application the Hello World Android app will at least prove to us that um, they are talking to one another. Uh, so I should bring up the actual Hello World um, sketch. So you'll see the, the similarities here. This is where we got the Hello array here. That's where it is here. And I'll include this in, on uh, Rover's website uh, as part of this episode. Uh, but basically, the, the master sketch here builds upon this Hello World example. Um, and it's just a matter uh, of ensuring that we actually have communication going back and forth between the Mega ADK board and uh, the Android application. So I've got some kind of test, um, test values here for variables that I've defined to kind of function in the future. They don't really work yet. Um, as you can see, they're, they're just static values, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Um, eventually, of course, these would be values that the UNO board, the slave board, would be reporting to the master board, which would then be relaying that information to the um, Android tablet, which is Rover's brain, um, for it to then determine what it wants to do next with that information. Um, so. Essentially, we're just uh, in the loop here. We're messaging the uh, Android tablet. We're sending information, and then um, getting a response back um, from the from the application. So, the rest of it here is me trying to work with uh, the buffering system. So, from what I remember from a couple years back. The problem that I was running into was how to send uh, packets of information. Uh, so again, keep in mind, I'm a newbie at this stuff. So it's, you know, my rationale was, well, I'll just send it whatever I want to send it. But the reality was that communication uh, between these devices is limited in terms of how much you can send at one time. So it's, you, you see these arrays representing kind of pieces of messages um, that are kind of sent and then recompiled on the other end and then interpreted. Um, and that's the whole buffering mechanism. So that's me trying to, you can see data packet, data packet, data packet. And that's me trying to figure this stuff out. Um, but like I said, um, I'll include these sketches and uh, we're going to work on them. So I'll include updates as we go along as well. But um, that's, that's the general principle. And over on the UNO board, it's really much more simple stuff. Um, the same stuff that we saw before, just in regards to um, sending and receiving messages between the two boards. Um, it does get a little bit more sophisticated this time because I want to be able to differentiate between different types of commands that we get from the master board. Um, so you'll see that we've got you know, a switch um, uh, switch code here, and that's really what that's about. So let's take a look at the Android tablet. Um, let's connect up the Android tablet with the Arduino boards and take a look and see how the Hello World um, application runs, um, and that'll be our first step. So let's take a look. To start, I wanted to point out how we've got the uh, boards connected. So the Uno over on the right here is um, just a typical USB connection. Over on the left, it gets a little bit more interesting because you can see we've got two USB ports. Um, the kind of clear one, the larger one over on the left, that runs out to the computer, to the laptop. Um, the one in the middle, the black one, that runs to the, ADK, the um, Android tablet. So that one, even when we are running off of the laptop, that black one that stays connected because that's how we get communication back and forth with the Android tablet, which I'll talk about as well uh, later on. 
I apologize for the glare here, um, but I wanted to show you how it, what happens when we connect up the Arduinos. So we're looking at the Android tablet here. I just plugged it in and we get the pop-up asking us um, that it's recognizing that we've got a USB um, host device, which is the uh, Mega ADK board, and it's asking us which of our applications uh, we'd like to run. Um, Rover is the uh, new one that I've been working on with you guys. Um, the Hello World was the original test, which we'll run now. And Robot Brain was the um, one from two years ago, uh, which is still on here, thankfully. Um, so I can see how that looks, but uh, is no longer compatible with the new Android development software. So let's run Hello World. Oh, I gotta press. Ah. I goofed, so let's try that again. Okay, so we're gonna hit Hello World. And just once for now. And there we go. So basically, we see that we've got a message coming from the Arduino, from the Arduino. So the Arduino is talking to uh, the Android tablet, and these values are coming from the um, Arduino. So we'll take a look again what these values are, but this one is just a static one, and this is basically a value that I've just put into the loop that increments, just to prove that it's communicating on the loop. Basically, I just wanted to see something changing on the screen. So let's go back to the, uh, the sketches. So what we're looking at here are the uh, Master and Uno 80K sketches again. Uh, and what I wanted to point out from what we just saw on the Android tablet were those values. So speed wheel 2 variable was defined as a static as well as 1. The only difference why we saw number 1 value changing was that in the loop down here, I just put in that it should increment by the loop interval, uh, which itself um, increments as well. Uh, so that's why we saw the values changing. So nothing sophisticated, had nothing to do with motor speeds. I was just using the variable names. Um, obviously setting, for setting things up for down the road. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to include in Rover's episode uh, post on Rover's website is the Hello World Java code for the Android tablet. So this is the customized version of the Hello World uh, code itself. I'll include, keep in mind that this code, like I mentioned, is from the old, now out of date Android uh, developer application. So I'm going to include the link to the new uh, Android developer application code for developing uh, a Hello World Android application to talk to your ADK board. But here is, in case you want it, uh, Rover's customized version, which includes uh, some kind of stuff for communicating uh, here with the uh, wheel speed stuff. So this is why we had those specific values coming up on our Hello World example and not just the typical Hello World from Android text message. Um, so it gets a little bit more sophisticated, but that's all it is. So yeah, so that's all it is, and I'll include all this stuff, the sketch, both the sketches, the master, and the Uno, as well as the Android Hello World Java from Rover, and the new link for a terrific source that I found on setting up a kind of, let's call it a modern Android app to talk with the ADK. I don't want to get too excited about the result. I mean, it's great to see the Android tablet and Rover's uh, boards talking. Uh, but that's really just a Hello World example, and what I need to figure out for Rover is how to get that Hello World code working in Rover's, excuse me, brain application, uh, the other app that you saw loaded on the Android tablet. So the app on that I've got there now is 
you know, with that minion and, and that sort of thing, it's reading some sensors within the Android tablet itself, like the GPS and accelerometers and stuff, but it doesn't have the code to actually talk with Rover himself. So that's going to be the next thing, and I think I'm going to include that in a separate episode because this is getting kind of long and I need to have lunch. <laughs> so if you're interested, uh, follow up on the next episode, and until then, cheers!